The whites and their offspring attempted to force Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, into the false belief that God sent white people a liberator who was a messenger, prophet, and a lawgiver. They did this by creating a fictional ancestor and claiming that God gave him the divine laws which they should live by. They claimed that the fictional character was proof of the covenant that God had made with them as a people. The fictional character was given the name Moshe or Moses. Moses never existed. The term Moshe or Moses is taken from the name Moshe, which is another title of the god Tehuti. In the language of Kemet, Moshe is composed of Ma'a, meaning truth, law, and Sher, meaning voice, word. One who has the title Moshe is thus one who is true of word, one who voices or speaks the divine law. For tens of thousands of years, Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, have communicated with the god Tehuti and invoked his spirit under his title and function, Ma'asher, or Sima'asher. This title and function was corrupted from Ma'asher into Moshe and Moses by the whites. Tehuti, the spirit force in creation that transmits the divine wisdom of Amen Aminet to us, functions as a messenger of the Supreme Being. The words of Tehuti are thus the true words, truthful voice of the Supreme Being. Tehuti is thus the original Ma'asher, truthful of voice and word, who has the ability to make others Ma'asher, or true of voice and word. When you receive an intuition, knowledge of what is right and how it relates to your situation and your function in creation, you have received a truthful voice to be guided by. This intuition is Tehuti transmitting the divine wisdom Amen Amenet to your spirit. Tehuti executes the same function as he operates through the moon, reflecting and transmitting the divine light of the sun to us. Tehuti executes the same function as he operates through your pineal gland, receiving the energy of sunlight and moonlight through the gland, then transmitting this energy to the substances within your body that require it. The whites created a fictional character, gave it the name Moshe, and claimed that he was a white human being who became the lawgiver after having received the law from God on the mountain. He would then come to the people and transmit the law of God to the people. Moshe becomes the messenger of God. Aaron was ordered by God to be the assistant and helper of Moshe. This story of Moshe going up on the mountain to talk to God, who appears in the form of a divine light, or burning bush, and receiving the law was stolen from the knowledge of the gods where Tehuti is asked by Ra, the creator, to come with him to a mountainous region which was a distance from heaven. Ra, the creative spirit, takes the form of a god of light and thus has the name Aku or Ra Aku. While Tehuti or Ma'asher is with Ra in his light form, Ra instructs Tehuti, Ma'asher, to write down what is in the spirit world. This is why another title of Tehuti is An Ma'at, meaning scribe of the divine law. Ra then makes Tehuti Ma'asher his chief messenger and gives Tehuti Ma'asher an assistant. This assistant is the god who takes the form of a sacred baboon whose name is Anan. Anan is a spirit force in creation that functions by giving sounds to spiritual messages transmitted by Tehuti. In your spirit, Anan is one of the forces that enables you to give sounds to or verbalize your spiritual intuitions and thoughts into a form that you can communicate to others. Anan enables you to use sounds or put into words what you are experiencing internally so that others can understand. Anan is the name which the whites stole and perverted into Aran or Aaron, the assistant to the fictional Moses, Moshe. Thus, Anan, the divine assistant of Tehuti, whose spirit takes the form of a baboon, was perverted by the whites into a fictional white male, Aran. The name Tehuti was pronounced by some Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, as Tahut. This was corrupted by the whites from Tahut into Dawut, Dawut into Dawit, Dawit into David and David. The story of God making David king was stolen by the whites from the knowledge of the gods where Ra makes Tehuti king of earth. 
The sun rules the earth during the day, yet the light of the moon rules the earth at night. The moon is called Ya in Kemet, and Tahuti when operating through the moon, thus has the title Ya Tahuti. The bird sacred to Tahuti is the bird called Habui. Tahuti is usually depicted as a god with the body of an Afurakani man and the head of the bird Habui. The name Habui is also a title of Tahuti, which was corrupted by the whites from Habui to Habwe and Yahwe. The name of the moon, Ya, was corrupted into Ja. Tahuti was also pronounced Jahuti and Jahut in certain dialects. This was further corrupted into Jahuta and used by the whites as a name for their fictional character Yahuta or Judah and his fictional tribe, the tribe of Yahuta or tribe of Judah. The entire story about God giving the followers of Moshe a promised land wherein food from heaven would be placed is stolen from the knowledge of the gods where Ra, the creator, creates the divine field called Sekhet Hetep or field of peace wherein he places divine vegetation from heaven called Aru, which is for the followers of Tehuti to feed on. This great field called Sekhet Hetep and Sekhet Aru is actually a name for the ancestral realm in the language of ancient Kemet. A peaceful existence in the ancestral realm is an extension of a peaceful existence throughout life on earth for all those Afura Kanu, Afurait Kaitnut, who live in harmony with divine law, for all of us who live to execute our divine function in the world. When we follow the guidance of Tehuti, Ma'osher, he who is the spirit force of divine wisdom operating within our spirits, we secure a harmonious life in the physical world and also a harmonious life in the ancestral realm. The whites perverted the knowledge of the ancestral realm, called Sekhet Hetep, or divine field of peace, into an actual strip of land in Palestine called the Promised Land. They made their fictional white character Moshe lead a group of fictional white characters out of Egypt to this fictional promised land. For tens of thousands of years, Afura Kanu, Afurait Kaitnut, learned to harmonize our activities with the phases of the moon. By being receptive to the energy of the moon at night, you can be led into a peaceful world, the dream world. The god Tehuti uses the moon as a physical transmitter of his spiritual energy. Tehuti's energy operating through the moon will affect your dreams so that conflicts within your spirit can be resolved through your dreams. Upon waking, you will have instructions or ideas about how to resolve conflicts in life. Following Tehuti, Ma'asher, leads to a place of peace, the dream world. What you are fed in this place of peace brings peace to your life. This is one way that Tehuti, Ma'asher, leads Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, to a place of peace where food from heaven, energy from the moon, is given to us to feed on. Those who do not harmonize their activities with the energy of the moon can be negatively affected by its energy. When a full moon appears, they who live stressful or disordered lives can become disruptive towards others. In your body, Tehuti's energy operates through the pineal gland. The pineal gland is stimulated by sunlight. It responds to sunlight by releasing a hormone in the body during the day that affects the detoxification of the body. The pineal gland also releases a hormone in the body at night that affects the production of kanu, katnut, melanin, in your body. Kanu, katnut, melanin, is the chemical in your body that gives you your color. Yet it is also a chemical that takes the energy of sunlight and transforms it into food or energy for the cells of the body to utilize. Tehuti, Ma'osher, receives the power from Ra and uses that power to free the people and cleanse them. They then receive food from heaven in the Sekhet Hetep, or divine field of peace. So it is with the pineal gland, Tehuti, which receives the power of sunlight, Ra, and uses that power to secrete a hormone which works to free the body's cells from waste and detoxifies them. The body then receives the hormone at night that affects the production of kanu, katnut, melanin. Kanu, katnut, melanin transforms sunlight into food or energy that the body's cells can use. This food or energy, which was derived from the power of sunlight, ra, is the food from heaven, aru, given to the cells of the body. 
Thus following Tahuti, Ma'asher, divine wisdom, leads to peaceful existence in this world and peaceful existence in the ancestral realm. The whites perverted this understanding into a fictional belief that whites who followed Moshe were led to a promised land in Palestine, a land of milk and honey where they could live in peace. The whites desired to make Afura Kanu, Afurai Kaitnut, believe that whites were God's chosen people and were given a land to settle in by God. The land of Palestine is in fact an Afura Kani, Afurai Kaitnit country that the whites invaded and desired to have complete control of. The whites and their offspring are not chosen, have never been chosen, and will never be chosen by divinity.